Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day so that we may celebrate our accomplishments as we graduate. We ask you to bless those graduating today, be with the family, friends, and loved ones here today that have supported us throughout the years. God, we thank you for our time together, for all the friends we've made and memories we share. As this chapter of our life closes, help us not to not look forward, to not look toward the future in fear, but rather in hopes of all the possibilities that lie before us. We pray you give us direction, purpose, and perseverance as we enter this next phase of our lives. Help us stay true to our dreams and use our gifts wisely as we, we ask all of this in your holy name. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure as the historian of the class to welcome the families as well as friends and teachers to the 2022 Shadyside High School graduation ceremony. 
Although we have all had very, very different experiences, we all share a common bond that is unforgettable as members of the class of 2022 and soon to be graduates of Shadyside High School. We are all filled with excitement and anticipation as we are welcomed into the next stage of our lives. I would like to give a special thank you to all the faculty members for all they have done for us throughout high school as well as the family and friends who have been there to give each of us love and support through it all. Thank you all for joining us as we recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of our class. The accomplishments. Okay. Thank you all for joining us as we recognize and celebrate the accomplishments our class has made over these past four years. Hello everyone, my name is Kai Lipperman and I would like to welcome you all to Shadyside's 2022 graduation ceremony. First, I want to thank all of you, from teachers and staff members to friends and family, for being here in attendance with us today. I would also like to take a moment to thank a very few other important people that have supported me throughout the last few years. Thank you to my parents for inspiring and raising me to be the best version of myself possible. You both have taught me how to succeed and how to make an impact on this world. You guys are my biggest supporters and inspirations and always challenge me to be my best. Thank you to my sisters and to my friends for always having my back and pushing me to achieve great things. You all have shown me the good in this world and inspired me to be kind and welcoming to others. On behalf of the class of 2022, thank you to our teachers for putting up with us these last few years. All of you have continuously given us your support and never hes hesitated to assist us. Not only in school, but in not only in school, but in all of our troubles in life. You made our classes fun and exciting to be a part of, along with supporting and pushing us to be our best. I would like to thank all of our teachers, coaches, and parents for all of your support and efforts that you have given us along the way. It is truly you all who have guided and shaped us students into the people we are today. Today is no ordinary day. Today is a day we can all join together to celebrate the years of hard work each and every one of us graduates have put in. Today we recognize the determination, patience, sacrifice, challenges, knowledge, and success of every graduate. Today is a major milestone in the journey of our lives and one that should be recognized for its immense significance. I hope every one of you sitting here alongside me can take this personal accomplishment as an example that anything is truly possible when you put your mind to it. Life is a journey and all accomplishments we achieve should be taken as starting points for our further achievements. We've all taken the first step in closing this chapter of our lives. Now it is time to take the next step down whatever path our future holds. To my fellow graduates, To my fellow graduates, I want to congratulate you all for making it here. High school is no easy thing, and I am beyond proud of each and every one of you for pushing through. I also want to give a huge thank you to you all. Thank you for years of friendship, growth, and memories. From friendships that began in kindergarten to friendships made just in the past year, I have cherished them all. I know we will all miss things like Friday night football games, buying snacks from the office, dressing up for Spirit Week, winning multiple OVAC titles, and roaming the halls a little too often. Being in the school with each, with each and every one of you has really made me realize that time does fly by when you're having fun. You are all the main reason I look forward to waking up every day and coming to school, and I'm sure most of you feel the same. All of you have been so welcoming for years, and it is a kindness that I will carry with me throughout my future. I am thankful that I had the honor to watch you all grow from little kids into the young adults that you are today. I will miss the classes we had together, but I'm thankful for being able to watch you all succeed along the way. 
I have no doubt in my mind that every single one of you sitting here alongside me today has the potential to succeed and make a difference in our futures. Life is about growing, and I look forward to seeing you all grow and make a difference in this world. I would like to conclude my speech today with a quote from a poem by Robert Frost. It reads, Two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. I encourage my fellow graduates to follow your heart. Take opportunities that are available to you and pursue your dreams. Create your own exciting, challenging, and rewarding paths for your future. Learn from your mistakes and take risks because you never know just how amazing those outcomes can be. Be passionate and believe in yourselves so that you can fulfill your dreams. Remember that nothing worthwhile is easy, and that includes making the most out of our futures. Again, I want to congratulate my fellow class of 2022. My advice to you is to always remember where you came from, the faith that supports you, and the people you aspire to be. I wish you all the best of luck in the future. Thank you. You know how they say for real this time. <laughs> you know how they say that achieving your goals is like climbing to the top of a mountain. I've always liked that expression. You know what they never Glad to know this uh, class gift is doing us a lot of good right now. <laughs> Brian, 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 let me change the batteries. We're going to change the batteries? Yeah. We're going to change the batteries. Hold on. Please pause. Just make me wait, okay? All right, how are we doing? You know, what they you know what they never talk about when they talk about climbing a mountain? They never talk about the view when you get to the top. I've spent a long time climbing this mountain. This view is worth the wait. I'd like to start out with a few thank yous. First and foremost, as in all things, I'd like to thank God. God has given me the abilities and the knowledge I needed to be able to stand before you today as the valedictorian of the class of 2022. He has guided me every step of the way throughout my life, and I have no doubt he will continue to do so for as long as I live. For that and many, many other things, I am grateful. Secondly, I'd like to thank my parents. I couldn't have asked for two better people to have raised me in the confusing times that we live in. Being brought up in a household with a foundation and faith is already more than a large number of people are blessed with. Being born into a family of two of the kindest, smartest, wisest, and most generous people I have ever known at its head is more than most people will ever dream of. I have been blessed with both. Despite my apparent ability and my potential, my parents never pushed me to achieve anything beyond my capabilities. Yet they still encouraged me to put forth 100% effort in everything I do. They helped me at every twist and turn on my way to becoming valedictorian, but never once made it into an expectation that I would get there. 
From the people who would be responsible for raising me, teaching me, and supporting me, I could not have asked for anything more. Mom and Dad, thank you. I'd like to thank my brother, Logan. Logan, thank you for standing by my side. Even if maybe you didn't want to be at all of my baseball games, assemblies, banquets, and on and on down the list, you were always there to support me when the opportunity arose. For that and many other things, thank you. I'd like to thank my grandparents. Thank you for taking care of Logan and I while my parents were working. And thank you specifically to my grandfather for being my role model. I couldn't have asked for someone better to look up to and learn from than my valedictorian, Navy veteran, preacher grandfather. The number of lessons I've learned from you is beyond my ability to count, and I can count pretty high. <laughs> I'd like to thank the administration of Shadyside High School, Mr. Pollock, Mr. Haswell, Mr. Treveri, Mr. Treadway, the school board, and all the others that keep the school running from the top down. Thank you to, thank you to Senor Allender, Mr. Thornburg, Mrs. Hotlots, Ms. McHugh, and all the other teachers for all the work you've put in to make sure that we learn as much as we can during our time here and are as ready as possible for the next phase of our lives, which, mind you, was not an easy task after getting hit with the COVID-19 pandemic and virtual school. Despite everything, you never gave up trying to teach us. There's one more faculty member I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank our band director, Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore hasn't been here for long, but he certainly made an impact in the short time he's been here thus far. I've never seen or heard of someone taking the reins of a dying program and then turning that program around in the way that this man has in just a little over a year. And this, having been his only, his, only his first year on the job, things can only get better. Right, Ban? Mr. Moore, on behalf of myself, my classmates, our school, and the community at large for everything you already have done and for all the things you will do in the future, thank you. One last thank you, then I promise I'll start my speech. Believe me, I don't want to be out in the heat any longer than you guys do. I'd like to thank my classmates. Our class has accomplished great things in our time here, in both athletics and academics. I think that success can be put into context very easily. To those who are unaware, which included me until just over a week ago, our school has won both the OVAC Class 2A Overall Championship Award for winning both the most OVAC championships in our division across all school sports, and the OVAC Class 2A Student Achievement Award for having the highest GPA for all students in our division. If a class can accomplish both of these things at the same time and not leave their mark on their school, then I don't know what it would take. Thank you to our athletes and to our scholars for everything you do to put our class on the map. Thank you to my friends and teammates. I promise you your support means and meant and still means more to me than I can express. Thank you for all standing together in the face of every trial and tribulation. We may not share all the same beliefs or values, but I truly believe there may be no other class that was more willing to put aside our differences and support each other in the midst of unprecedented times. For those of you who have been here with me since the beginning, thank you for sticking it out. For those of you who are just joining us now or have joined us along the way, thank you for deciding to take this journey with us. Our community, our school, and our class are glad you did. To each and every person sitting beside me for everything that you do, thank you. All right, on with the show. I said at the beginning I had been working towards this moment for a long time. That would probably lead you to believe I would have some idea of what I wanted to say when I got here. And you know what? I did. And then COVID happened. I have no clue what it was. So I had to start from scratch. I thought to myself, what's something that I could talk about that encompasses all of our time here at Shadyside? As with most questions I asked myself, I believe that God guided me to the answer and ultimately the topic I've chosen for today. I have come to believe there is one general theme that stands out above the rest as a description of what the class of 2022 was and is all about. And I will get to that in a minute. Because to get to that topic, we have to talk about something else first. We have to talk about something else that characterized our entire high school experience. We have to talk about obstacles. We have to talk about the roadblocks, the hurdles, and the setbacks we experienced throughout our journey. Having said that, I believe that only leaves us one place to start. I know, I'm tired of talking about it too. But if you're asking about things that have acted as obstacles for our class on our way to be being here today, 
that I'd be remiss in not at least mentioning COVID. The coronavirus put our world on notice and nearly tore our country apart at the seams, and we're still seeing its effects in the political world and in many aspects of our lives to this day. For us, it was the thing standing between us and our education, our friends, and our normal high school lives that everyone seems to reminisce about after the fact. For many of us, isolation was a test of how you can deal with being away from the people you've built your life around to this point. For those of us trying to get everything out of our education that we could before we moved on to bigger and better things in our lives, virtual school was yet another roadblock. For all of us, COVID tested our beliefs, our faiths, and our ties to our friends, peers, and mentors. We've missed graduations, proms, concerts, entire athletic events, and more. I've seen the effect that this has had on people. We all have. Thankfully, our senior year has rel been relatively untouched by the pandemic. I wasn't expecting to be thankful for something as simple as being able to come to school, but here we are. Unfortunately, life isn't as simple as winning a battle. Life is a war. Life is full of conflict. We escape the grasp of the pandemic ready to move on and out into the wider world. We are met with the threat of World War III. The state of the world and of our country is more uncertain than ever. On our local level, I've seen the stress of uncertain times get to people. I've seen moral, ethical, and political disagreements, or even misunderstandings and friendships between people that I expected to see standing here arm in arm today. I've seen people suffer through mental and emotional strain that no one should ever have to go through. The challenges that the world has put in front, in front of us on our way to making it here today would be enough to wear people down, discourage them, and break the bonds with the people that they love. All right, Zump, that's all well and depressing. Why are you saying this? Shayside, let me ask you a question. When you look up here today to this group of men and women sitting beside me, do you see a group of worn down, discouraged, broken people? Class of 2022, let me ask you a question. Are we broken? Did we give up? No. No, we didn't. I said earlier there's one thing that encompasses our time here at Shadyside High School. The class of 2022 achieves in spite of adversity. Our class had every right to throw in the towel and write out our high school careers and then try to reset once we got out of here. Instead, we found our way around every roadblock, jumped over every hurdle, and pushed past every setback. We had every right to phone it in our senior year because of how much we struggled to keep up during COVID. But instead, we saw an opportunity an opportunity that we could use to accomplish things that no one else has in the history of our school. You can't win championships or have the highest GPAs or win awards for art and for music if you give up and you let yourself become a victim of your own circumstance. Our class understood that. I truly believe no class has ever achieved as much as we have under circumstances as bad as ours. Now, having achieved everything that we could and then some, we're finally here. At the end of our long, long journey, I've seen many classes get to this point and find themselves exhausted and beaten, especially over the last couple of years. But when I look at this group of men and women sitting beside me, that's not what I see. What I see is a group of people who have reached the top of their mountains, who have achieved their goals and are ready to start their next climb. I see a group of people ready to tackle each and every obstacle that is put in their path. I see a group of people who have walked through the fire and come out stronger for it. I see a group of people who fought to achieve the impossible and won. We fought through adversity and hardships, the likes of which we haven't seen in decades, and we won. We fought for the sake of our teachers, our coaches, and our mentors who helped us along the way, and we won. We fought for our families who supported us and encouraged us to be our best selves, and we won. Class of 2022, family, faculty, administration, underclassmen, and anyone else who may be listening to this, we've all fought our own battles. But now, as we stand here today, let me ask you a question. Who won? We won. Thank you, and God bless you. Ryan, 
Your words are very true because I sat here and watched you overcome a dead battery, the wind, and a lot of other things, so thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not in your program, but I'd be remiss if I didn't at least stand up here to congratulate these folks sitting in front of you. The class of 2022. I want to take this opportunity to thank them for all their accomplishments, wish them the best of luck in their future, and to give them something to think about very quickly. As you look around today, as you sit on this field, look to your left, right, behind you, in front of you, this will be the last time that you are together. From here on out, you're going to move out into the world, do separate things. And I know you're going to be very, very successful in what you do. However, this is it. Today, the all-night party, this is the last time as a group you're together. But I want to remind you of one thing. After today, you're still going to hold one special bond. And that special bond is you are about to become a Shadyside alumni. And there are thousands and thousands of people that come before us that hold that special title. You will always be, after today, a Shadyside alumni. Yesterday I learned of something unique talking about the Shadyside alumni. If you give me a second, I'd like to read it to you. Very quickly, it's about the Merriman family. Bill Merriman attended the Shadyside school system in the late 30s. He's the member of the class of 1944. Bill married Margaret Smith of Benwood, West Virginia. They decided to raise their family in Shadyside. Since that time, they have always had a son, a daughter, a grandchild, or a great-grandchild attending the Shadyside local school system. That is 10 straight decades of a student attending Shadyside. 100 years. One of our seniors in the class of 2022 is the end of this streak. Ellie Merriman is the 15th grandchild of the late Bill and Margaret Merriman. Hot dog, I don't know if this streak is over. We still have a few years in this <laughs> next decade. But anyhow, congratulations, Ellie. Congratulations, class of 2022. This is, will always be your home. If you ever need anything, you come back and see us. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you our high school principal, Mr. John Pollock. giving out a uh, round of applauses and everything like that. We should give a round of applause for the uh, new batteries in the microphone. How about that? So, great. Technology, folks, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, the problem with my speech every year is they make me follow the smartest people in the school, and their speeches are always way better than mine. Uh, Ryan, Kaya, thank you for your speeches. If you in the stands were paying attention, I was taking notes. I always liked the valedictorian and salutatorian speech. They give me the secrets of the school, and then next year I can change everything in the handbook to try to tighten all of that down. Uh, sincerely, though, Ryan and Kaya, thank you very much. Folks, what we have here today is one of those special days, one you'll remember for the rest of your lives. There aren't too many of these in a lifetime. So take a look around, take some mental pictures, because, like what Mr. Haswell said, with these people in this place, this will never happen again. Before I get going, I want to start with some special thank yous. First, Michelle Milhone. Thank you for putting up with me all year in the high school office. And thank you for putting this ceremony together. From literally the top to the bottom, this ceremony is her work. And without her, we're not even here today, folks. So can we have a round of applause for Mrs. Milhone? Next, I'd like to thank the parents, grandparents, family, and friends of the young ladies and gentlemen sitting on the field with me today. Thank you for instilling good manners and strong beliefs in your children so they had a solid foundation before we taught them science, math, social studies, English. 
We only have about six hours with the students, split into 40-minute periods for 180 days. The impact you have at home is so incalculable that we couldn't do it without you. Class of 2022, would you please join me in a round of applause for your family and friends that have helped you along the way. <laughs> Teachers, counselors, aides that are in attendance today, regardless of grade level or content area, without your dedication, these young ladies and gentlemen may not be sitting here today. Your influence is infinitely far reaching and these folks will move on to share your wisdom and lessons with the next generation. To Mr. John Haswell and the Shadyside Local District Board of Education, President Mr. Dominic DeFelice, Vice President Mr. Randy Merriman, Mr. Kurt Wash, Pastor Joel Trailer, and Mrs. Donna Joseph, thank you for the opportunity to work in such a wonderful school district with such incredible students and staff. I am truly blessed to have had the chance to work with these young men and women on the field with me in their caps and gowns today. Thank you to our other principals, Mr. Kevin Roseberry and Ms. Cynthia Caldwell for your support this year. Thank you, Mr. Chad Treadway, for your hard work, hitting scholarship deadlines and getting students pointed in the right direction. Mr. Treadway has been working very hard to ensure that each of these students on the field with us today has their information headed in the right direction so that the next step of their life will be easy. To Mr. John Treveri, and one thing about Mr. John Treveri, he always has fresh batteries in his microphones in the uh, gym, so that's something I need to take from Mr. Treveri. Uh, you will not find a more student-first athletic director. When a decision comes out of our athletics office, trust me, it's with the best interest of the students in mind. To Mrs. Nancy Weeks for taking the arduous role of senior class advisor. What a task this is. From fundraising to planning events to making sure everyone is on the same page when it comes to the last week of schooling, thank you for everything that you do as the seniors wind down. To Mr. Tommy Duncan, Mr. Terry Gillum, Mr. Sco Tom Schofield, and Mr. Jason Newell, thank you to the maintenance and custodial staff for setting up and tearing everything down. Most of us to show up and participate in the event these are the guys that are there hours before and hours after, making sure those events happen. Finally, folks, this is Memorial Day weekend. It's a time to honor those that have served our country and fought for our freedoms. To all the servicemen and women here, and to those that will never hear this speech, I say thank you for your service and sacrifice to our country. Okay, class of 2022, I want to talk about potential. Potential is a great thing. In the world of athletics, it probably means that a great team is coming through. Those of you that spend a third to half of your day with Mr. Thornburg will recognize the word potential as a physics word, where an object has stored energy. Both of these definitions can be correct. The trouble with potential is that sometimes the potential is not realized. When potential energy fails to convert to energy of motion, everything grinds to a halt. Dreams can be lost. The class of 2022 started in the high school six years ago as seventh graders. I started working in the high school six years ago as a math teacher. I actually had some of you in class when I was a team teacher in the junior high math classroom. When I told people outside of Shadyside about my new job, all anyone wanted to talk about was the junior high class and how much potential they had. Today, the class of 2022 will leave with an average GPA of 3.28. If the entire class were a student, it would be on the honor roll. Yeah, go ahead, clap for them. Just to prove to you that I didn't sway the numbers because any good statistician can make the numbers look however they want, the median GPA was 3.57, so I actually chose the lower number. These are some of the highest numbers I can remember from recent history. As Mr. Zimpano said in his speech, 
This class is also part of the OVAC Student Achievement Trophy, where our student athletes had the highest GPA in the conference. I would say academic potential realized. <laughs> Athletically, this class has been part of 11 OVAC championships over the past four years. Folks, there are schools in the conference that don't have 11 banners in their gym. These guys did it in four years. They were also part of the school's first ever overall title, where our school won the most conference championships for the school year. And certainly, let's not discount the trips to district, regional, and state tournaments. As a matter of fact, we still have one coming up next weekend. Folks, our athletic potential realized. One of the hardest things to do is meet expectation when the bar has been set so high. This class has done it. They have looked every challenge in the face and said, okay, let's go. Now, moving forward, there are going to be bumps in the road. Tough days, days where you feel like you can't even look yourself in the mirror, but forge ahead. Be proud of yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and acknowledge your mistakes, but commit to repairing them. Remember, mistakes are okay, even expected. But there is no excuse for not trying, and there is no substitute for hard work. Today could be sad. Any ending can be. But it's not a day for tears. It's a celebration of accomplishment and new beginning. Some of you will venture off to college in the fall, and some off to the workforce. All of you will have newfound freedoms that you've never experienced before. Remember the responsibility that comes with those new freedoms. Those of you that go to college, go to class. End of discussion, go to class. Get out of bed and go to class. No one is going to call you if you don't show up and no one is gonna make sure you have your makeup work. It's all up to you now. Those going to the workforce, go to work. Someone identified you as a person that could do a task. Prove them right. Give your absolute best effort so at the end of the day you can genuinely look yourself in the mirror and be proud of it is looking back at you. When I first began, I said many thank yous to many different groups of people and there was one special group that I left out. The class of 2022. <coughs> thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for being great students. Thank you for the laughs the excitement under the lights on Friday nights, the fun in the gym during basketball and volleyball. Thank you for your efforts in the art shows. Thank you for the fun in the springtime on the ball fields and at the track. <coughs> Man. Thank you for the memories of attending multiple OHSA state tournaments. Thank you for the high fives in the halls. Thank you for your help around the building. Most of all, thank you for being such wonderful people. You were all born to be tigers, and forever you shall be. I'll miss you all, and you're always welcome back. Now it's time to go chase those dreams. To the class of 2022, congratulations and good luck. Ann Bailey Lemley. Caroline Renee Mercer. Ryan William Florence. Isabella Rose Harper. Ryan Gabriel Zampano.
Kaya Lane Lipperman. Paige Marie Gorby. Landon Daniel Saugit. Kayla Nicole Crea. Corey John Beckett. First row, you may be seated. Second row, will you please stand? Bryce, go ahead, take them around. Bryce Manning Amos. Gracie Marie Badia. Alex Logan Baker. William Judson Baker, Jr. Madeline Jean Barton. Ethan Michael Booth. Ryan Lee Crawl. Logan Sinclair Crozier. Mary Hannah Crum. Cameron John Davis. <coughs> Emily Lynn Davis. Jonathan William Duvall. Second row, you may be seated. Third row, will you please stand? Reese, go ahead. Reese Anthony Francis. Logan Kane Gavlik. Grace Elizabeth Green. Zachary Thomas. Heslop. Jacob Aaron James. (laughs) 
Terrence Michael Geralds. Natalie Annika Jandruzic. Gage Matthew Joseph. Zalani Lene Kisner. Alexis Nicole Krupa. Reagan Nicole LaQuaglia. Third row, would you please be seated? Fourth row, you may stand. Paisley, go ahead and take them back. Paisley, Nicole McClellan. Ellie Joe Merriman. Gianna Marie Mills DeFelice. Hunter Mini Austin Michael Monroe Haley Dakota Prickett Wyatt Matthew Ryman <laughs> Kaylee Ann Reineke Crystal Alice Rivero Devin James Robinson. Woo! Nina Elizabeth Rojas. Woo! Rachel Ann Roman. Stacy Michelle Kuhn. Yeah. Fourth row, will you please be seated? Fifth row, you may stand.
Bailey Madison Roseberry. Jonathan James Scott. Navea Jade Cease. Ethan Van Stanley. Alexis Nicole Stewart. Let's go, Alexis! Christopher Levette Tesaurus. Yeah! Yeah, Cheyenne Dolores Underwood. <laughs> Courtney Marie Volokovic. Mason Garrett Van Est. Caitlin Rose Witzberger. Class of 2022, will you please stand? Senior student council members to the front. And on three, let's count with them, folks. On three, let's turn those tassels. One, two, three, turn them. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Shady Side High School class of 2022. Please stand and bow your heads for the benediction. Heavenly Father, we praise you today for the strength and motivation that you have granted us all to reach this crucial moment in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for our family, friends, teachers, administrators, and all those who could and could not be here with us today. We pray that you could place a special blessing upon each and every single one of them for helping guide and support us leading up until this day. We give thanks to you, Lord, for the memories we have created with one another. We ask that those memories stay with us and help us as we continue to shape our futures. We graduates, now more than ever, ask for your guidance and protection as we take up this next step in our lives. Lord, we pray that you provide us with the means necessary to fulfill our purpose in this world. We, the class of 2022, ask that you stay with us allowing us to be bold, courageous, intelligent, and kind in all of our future endeavors. Lord, we ask this in your Son's name. Amen.